This book is about how Susie and Jerome learn about a healthy home. A healthy home helps everyone who lives there to be healthy and safe. Susie Be Careful is funny and smart. A girl who is helpful and has a good heart. She lives with her family. Her mom, dad, and brother, her goldfish Jerome, and her loving grandmother. At school, Susie's learning about health and her home. She pays close attention. She'll soon teach Jerome. Susie's learned seven rules that you can learn too to keep your home healthy. She'll share them with you. To keep out things that might make people sick, like pests and dangerous chemicals, a healthy home is clean. Keep your home really clean. That's rule number one. Clear off dust, pick up clutter. Now isn't that fun? Wash your sheets, towels, and clothes each week if you can. Leave your shoes at the door. Show that you're a clean fan. A clean home will help you stay healthy and strong. That's probably something you knew all along. Dirt's great in your garden, but not in your home. If you don't believe Susie, then just ask Jerome. Can you put your toys away? Can you put your dirty clothes where they belong? Not on the floor? Can you leave dirty shoes at the door? To keep out pests and mold, a healthy home is dry. Rule number two is to keep your home dry. Sue has a good reason, and she'll tell you why. When a home is too damp, it grows yucky old mold. And bugs come to visit. Damp spots make bugs bold. If you see pipes that are leaking, tell a grown-up about it. If you spill something wet, clean it up. Don't shout about it. When you shower or bathe, keep the puddles inside. If you splash water around, it will need to be dried. Can you hang up your wet towel? Can you make sure you don't splash when you take a bath or shower? Can you tell a grown-up if you see water on the floor? To prevent accidents and injuries, a healthy home is safe. Next, keep your home safe from some things that might harm you, or the people you love, or the critters who charm you. If you see dangerous things, like pills, bug spray, or bleach, Ask a grown-up to move them from out of kids' reach. To stop slips, trips, and falls when stuff's lying around. Pick it up, put away, move it off of the ground. When you're not really sure if something's safe or it isn't, grown-ups can tell you. They'll make the decision. Can you keep stuff off the stairs where people might trip? Can you tell a grown-up if you see something you think is dangerous? Can you ask a grown-up to put away dangerous things? To make breathing easier, a healthy home has fresh air. Fresh air makes it easier to breathe for most people. For a clean, gentle wind, there is surely no equal. Ask the grown-ups at home to bring in fresh air. They can open a window so a breeze can be shared. A fan in the bathroom and one in the kitchen can push more air around than the wings of a pigeon. With fresh air in your home, you might start to feel bubbly. Though Jerome in his bowl, fresh air makes him wobbly. Can you ask a grown-up to open a window on a nice day? 
Can you ask a grown-up to turn on a fan in the kitchen? Can you ask a grown-up to turn on a fan in the bathroom? To keep people from getting sick, a healthy home doesn't have pests. A pest's a bad guest who has not been invited. Like mice, rats, and bugs, which get people excited. Keep them out of your home. You can try if you're able. You can clean up your dishes. Wipe your own kitchen table. Put leftover meals in the fridge and close tight. If pests come to snack, that meal's out of sight. Put leftover sweets in a box with a cover, not lying around for some pests to discover. Put crumbs in the trash can to be taken outside, so pests don't have food or good places to hide. Can you wipe the crumbs off the table and throw them away? Can you help put leftover food away? Can you carry dirty dishes to the kitchen sink? To keep people from getting hurt or sick, a healthy home doesn't have dangerous chemicals. Ask grown-ups around you. Please don't smoke near me. Keep smoke out of my home. It's unhealthy and scary. Smoke that's on clothes, on hands, and in hair is bad for your health. Don't share smoky air. If your home has old paint, the dust and the flakes can make people sick. So for all of your sakes, ask grown-ups to clean it with wet rags and some soap. Then you won't need to worry. The grown-ups can cope. Can you politely... Ask someone you know not to smoke near you? Can you tell a grown-up if you see peeling paint or paint dust? Can you remember not to touch cleaning supplies like laundry soap? To keep small problems from becoming big problems, a healthy home is in good repair. Most household repairs are for grown-ups, don't doubt it. But you can help your family by talking about it. If you see a small problem, like a little hole in the wall, tell a grown-up you know so the whole wall doesn't fall. <coughs> Sue's mom patches small holes, dad repairs a loose railing, and they hire an expert to fix plumbing that's failing. They check their home often to find problems while small. Keep it fixed. Keep it safe. Keep it healthy for all. Can you tell a grown-up if you see a broken window in your home? Can you tell a grown-up if you see a dripping faucet? Can you tell a grown-up if a door won't close all the way? Here's a message for you. Susie, be careful, and Jerome, her pet fish, want you to know that they have one big wish. We want folks to be healthy, not <laughs> coughing or sneezing, or sick, scraped, or stung, or bleeding or wheezing. The message we have, it's clear and it's plain. It's important for you, so we'll explain it again. You, too, can live in a safe, healthy home, like my family and me and my fish pal, Jerome. Can you tell your family what a healthy home is? Can you tell your family why you want your home to be healthy? Can you tell your family some ways to make your home healthy? Here are the rules for a healthy home. A healthy home is clean, dry, and safe. It has fresh air, no pests, and no dangerous chemicals. It's in good repair. <laughs>